Cahoon, software skills for agents. And in this video, I am going to show you how to blur out certain parts of your picture and certain parts of your document using Canva. I know Canva is such an amazing tool. And honestly, you can nearly, you can do nearly everything with it. So let's get into it right now. All right. So I'm going to show you how to blur it out using the old editor and the new editor. So let's go. All right, we want to make sure we um, click on our image so that way we get these options up here at the top. And we're going to go over here and click on edit image. Right now, I am in the old editor. And I can tell that because this is saying, hey, a powerful new way to edit photos is here. So check it out. If I click on it, it's going to take me to the new editor. So I want to show you the old way to do it. And you can go between the old and the new way right now. So um, this is as of 8, 7 of 23. So if you are um, around that time, you should still have that option to do so. So I'm going to click on blur. And then we get these options here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'm going to zoom out a bit. All right. And so I have the entire photo at my, at my, and sorry about that, that control, but I had to move it out of the way. So um, as you can see, I have the entire photo. Now, if I want to blur the entire photo, I'm just going to click auto, which I do because this is the easiest and quickest way to only blur out a certain section. So let me show you. I'm going to click auto and that blurs out the entire uh, photo itself. And I can cre increase the intensity just by clicking forward or backward. Okay. I'm going to keep it at, at where it's at. Okay. And I'm going to go down a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to restore certain parts of the photo. Okay. I want to restore mainly all of the photo with the exception of where that barbecue is. So I'm going to click on the restore. And what I get is a circle. So this is the brush size. All right. If I want to increase the brush, brush size, I just simply come over here to the left and increase, increase the brush size. Okay. Well, I do want to increase it because I really want to um, um, take the least amount of time in making the rest of the photo um, viewable. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag the mouse over every part of the photo with the exception of where that barbecue is. So I'm going to just go just breezily by that barbecue. I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to go kind of right up to it and then right below it and then right above it. Okay. And make a little kind of little box. Once I take my mouse, my finger off the mouse, then it will process the picture and show me the picture itself. And as you can see by me zooming in, this area where the barbecue is, is blurred, okay? Now, if I wanna reduce some of that blurring, if I wanna just maybe kind of grab that corner and make it more notice, um, make it clean and not have a blur on it, then all I have to do is I have to go to this um, restore area again, make sure I hit the restore so that I'm on it, make sure that my circle is super low. Okay. My brush size is super low and I'm just going to go down like that. And when I do that, as you can see, now where I went down at is not, you can now see the photo. Okay. So that's how you do it in the old editor. All right. So once we click done, then the photo retains itself and keeps that blurred in there. Okay, we're going to click apply. Now, if I wanted to do it in the old, or I'm sorry, in the new editor, I'm going to duplicate the page. Okay. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to put in that same image again, uh, that image right here. Okay, I'm going to put that same in image in again, and this time I'm going to use the new editor. All right. All right. I have a new version of my picture, and now I just want to blur out this section right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the picture, go to edit photo, 
and I have my new photo editor, okay, in Canva. And the reason I can tell is because these are the new options. If I want to go back to the old one, I click here. But I want to I want to blur out only this section right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to blur at this moment because I want to take and make a copy of this photo. So I'm going to right mouse click and click copy or hit control C. Then I'm going to either click the right mouse key and click paste, or I'm going to hit control V. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am then going to make sure that I hit edit photo and hit blur. And what I'm going to do is crop down the area where the barbecue is. So that it only edits, that it only blurs out the area where the barbecue is. Okay. And then once I do that, I just simply click off and I have a blurred area. If I move it away, it's right there. Or if I put it right there, it's blurred. Okay. So I hope this is helpful in the blurring aspect of the documents. Now I'm going to go to the documents. I'm sorry, that was blurring of the pictures. I'm going to go to the documents now and I'm going to show you how to blur that again. All right. So I'm going to increase this a little bit and I'm going to make sure I click on the, on the photo. Again, these are all photos, but you could bring this in as a PDF file and it'll show up as an image. So then edit photo. And then you're also going to do the same with this. So before you edit the photo in the new version in the new photo editor, you want to make sure you create a copy. So control C, control V will get you to um, um, have two copies. So then what you want to do is let's say we only want to have this independence Clarkston area that's only visible. That's, that's the only one that's going to be visible on this entire photo. Okay. So we're going to crop it down we're going to crop it down to that area. Then what we're going to do to the background photo, okay, because there's two photos here. We've just cropped down the first part of it. And now we need to, now we need to, um, I'm just going to kind of line that up. Um, so now we need to grab this background photo and we're going to click on edit photo and we're going to click on blur. Okay. So then we just increase the intensity if we want. And then what that does is it allows this one area to not be blurred. Okay, so that's how you do that in the new editor on a particular document. I hope that's helpful. And the big tip I'd like to give to you today is to show you how to remove things using the magic erase in Canva. This is a super unique tool and it's very easy to use. So I'll, again, all you have to do is click on the image, click edit photo, go over to magic erase. And all you do is simply hover over the image or the area that you want erased. And then it disappears. Click hold and drag your mouse over it. Let it go. And then it erase. Again, click hold and drag over it. and then it erases. Simple and easy. So many amazing things that you can do with Canva. I hope this helps and it brings you value. Please comment below if you have any questions or if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Take care. Have a great day.